Yeah, this your boy Shout what my name is. And I'm chilling in an apartment with my boy Pile. Then the Ben did that. Hi. Hey Pile. Meet me at the apartment. <laughs> Yo, this your boy Pile. Live from Digital House Studios. And we're in the apartment with Pile. Meet me in the apartments. Listen, man, let me tell you something. I love my city. ATL ain't nothing like it. I'm talking about ain't nothing like it. Black Hollywood. Home of, home of all the A-list producers and celebrities. You know what I'm saying? Number one radio stations. You know, we popping. But the only thing I love more than my city is the west side of my city. Shout out to Bankhead. Lone little Suave, rest easy low, rest easy buddy. Listen, man. Everything we do spreads. Everything we do, somebody going to pick up. I really feel, and I'm not saying that and saying there's something wrong with it. I'm saying that and saying that that's one of the most things I like about my city. You know what I'm saying? Because everything that somebody do, I know somebody from my city who broke a barrier doing it. So I kind of look at, I kind of look at this city a little different. You know what I'm saying? I was born in the '80s, so I I seen the '90s. I I, I them they made the 2000s around there. You know what I'm saying? So I don't seen I don't seen it change. You know what I'm saying? I don't seen people. You know what I'm saying? Start then, and I don't see people fall off, and I don't see people come back, and I don't see people fight, and I don't see people leave and never come back again. You know what I'm saying? And to see the people who have fought through all these decades that I'm talking about, just to see them continue to be winning, I think that one of the biggest things that I, I, I most like about them. You know what I'm saying? My next guest is a person I've been knowing for a long time. You know what I'm saying? He was one of the first people that I really seen do what he did do on a big level that I knew personally. You know what I'm saying? Um, I don't seen his ups. I don't seen his downs. You know what I'm saying? I don't seen him get booed. I don't seen him get a million claps. You know what I'm saying? I don't seen when people turn their head from him. You know what I'm saying? And now my dog's so up that every time I see him, only thing I can think about all the time, nigga tried to shit on my dog. You know what I'm saying? I like to welcome my motherfucking dog to the show. Shout what my name is. Shout it. Yes, <laughs> my motherfucking bro, shout it. Shout it, man. Man, I love that intro, man. What is you saying? You it's real. Saying? How is real, man. B, what's going on? Yeah. Shout out, King B, Tap Tap Dan. Yeah, man. Wow. Hey, B. I made it to the apartment. To the apartment, boy. Hey, boy. Yeah. This is they want to hear from you, boy. Show down, dude. Hey, I'm going to tell them, too. Show down, dude. Hey. So, like, you know, like, like I was just telling you out camera, shout out. Uh-huh. I, when I was moving around with dope boys and, you know, going to clubs and after parties and shit and all the popping spots, I used to always see you. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. And I, 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 and I, I seen you on TV. You know what I'm saying? Man, this nigga shout is on BET. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? And this is at a time where, you know, niggas ain't really celebrities yet. Like, niggas on TV, like, nigga, you really on TV. Nigga don't, I'm from the hood. Niggas don't know niggas on TV. Yeah. So to see a nigga in the club doing this shit, and then see a nigga on TV is like, oh, shit. You know what I'm saying? And I, I don't see you at all the after hour spots. Like, all the places the niggas say don't go. Yeah. I don't see him shouting. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hi. And I'm going to tell you this, too. Yeah. If shout ain't with no bitches, shout it by itself. Real dog. That's facts. Facts. Hey, man. facts. 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 Yeah. I ain't with nothing pretty then. I'm going to be by myself. You know what I'm saying? It, it's just, it's the way you, you roll. It's the way you roll. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't need no crowd because, you know what I'm saying? First thing, first rule is you can't tell on yourself. Yep. And if I'm not moving like I move, people who need to know, people who need it with me, you there. And you know what I'm saying? I'm in the city. I know everybody wants to get there. You know? I'm an eye contact type person, so it, just like you know, you know, Charlotte with them girls, you, you know what I'm saying? Eye contact thing, it's the level of comfortability. I wouldn't be out there moving like that D Day, yeah. <clears throat> you know. Oh, this shit way different now. It's way different. It's, it's, it's not different. This shit way different now, yeah. now. This shit way different. Let's do this, Charlotte. Hey. What I always like to do is, right, uh-huh. for everybody who sit here, I like for people to get to know who you are as a person. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Your upbringing, the shit that you saw. Why, what made you start doing what you're doing? Why you feel like you feel? Why you yeah. think like you feel? Because I feel like all that shit contributes to what you start doing as a craft. Yeah. So when niggas start finding out who you is, they don't know all the shit you done been through. They just know, oh, this nigga on. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. the niggas approach you in certain ways. And niggas talk to you in a certain way. Bro, I ain't like that, bro. 
You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So what I want to do for the people who know you, for the people who know of you, uh -huh. for niggas who may, the young niggas who may not even know who the hell you is, let's take it all the way back to where you from, where you grew up at. Man, I'm from A, West Side. Um, I'm going to tell you this. I grew up straight from West Side of Atlanta, and a lot of people don't know this. I grew up on Simpson first. Mm. I, uh, I, I lived on Neal Street, 961 Neal Street. And Neal Street, Neal Street, like one street down from Ashby, right where Catherine Johnson, I mean, uh, what's the uh, old lady? The friend of her own thing? No, the lady who got shot by the... Uh, I was about down in the, by the bluff. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. I was on the, on the other side of the bluff. Neal okay. go across to the bluff. Oh, no, no okay. You're, okay, oh, that's yeah, what you're talking so about. Yeah, so it's right there by, by Neal Hill, right there by Cairo. Mm -hmm. So I went to A.F. Herndon on Simpson in the kindergarten. No, I went to, I went to, I went to Dean Wilson in the kindergarten in Harris Home. Mm. My grandma stayed in Harris Home. And we stayed down the street in, uh, on Neal Street. And then by the time I got to the third grade, we moved to Ben Hill. And so we moved over in Ben Hill. And Ben Hill was like a suburb back then. Back then. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I'm coming from the, from the west side, from the projects to the suburbs. They like, Jamal the Rich! <laughs> uh, so I'm bringing everybody from the bridge to my crib. They like, oh, they got two levels, you know? And so uh, it was an exciting thing. And when I got to the Southwest part, when I got over on Camelton, that's where the flavor came. That's when I started getting my flavor, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, so I did. Yeah, what, what, Ryan, what year was this? Just trying to so everybody could put it in perspective. You know, <laughs> uh, had to be early 80s on everything. It was the 80s. It was the early 80s. You know what I'm saying? So we're talking about the early 80s. You're an OG, nigga. Don't worry OG, about that baby, shit, you know what I'm saying? Hey, hey. I, I, but I tell everybody on time. You know what I'm saying? When they ask me how long I'm on timeless, and I really before my time. You know what I'm saying? But I was forced into it because we moved, we moved to Camelton, and it was cool. Uh, I started going to school. That's where I met all my partners. You know what I'm saying? Blue, B, everybody, you know, me and Blue, we've been partners since the third grade when I moved wow. over here. You know what I'm saying? Well, he stayed right at the top of my street. Shout out that boy Blue, man. Yeah, West Side Blue. West Side West Blue. West Side you know Blue. He taught me how to ride a skateboard. For real? Yeah, he, he, he got a skateboard for Christmas. He used, oh, oh, wait, yeah, he used to be up there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he, he said, man, you got to come up there, man, you got to come to the apartment. Yeah. I said, I get up there to yeah. the apartment. And so we used to be in a uh, parking deck. And so, you know, we started, as, you know, the years went, uh, we got into dancing. I came to Stray Cat Prep, you know, Stray Cat Prep. And so that when I got into to the city. I'm going to tell you, when I'm going to tell you, the first time I really got into to the city, uh -huh. when I knew this is what I'm going to be, I'm, this is my crew, is when... I was in about the fourth grade, uh -huh. and I done went to Rap Bunch Talent Show. Mm. And when I get to Rap Bunch Talent Show, man, it's the zoo. The ghetto boys outside beating on the doors, trying to get in, trying to fight. Uh, you got and I walk when I walked in the talent show it was so packed, and I saw all these dance groups probably. They just ended up doing the prep dancing. Everybody got on polo and all this type of stuff, and it, it was real cool. Seeing you know, like this, this, this my crew right here. This part, this, this, this is what I want to be a part. You remember any of the dance crews? Huh? You remember any of the dance crew you seen back then? Do I remember any of them? Do you remember any of them? Yeah. Which who it was? Who you remember yeah. I seen in that guess, motherfucker? Guess. Uh -huh. I didn't even know they lived right in my right one street over Ted, all of them. So it was Guess. They Guess was the ultimate group back then. Um, and Zanard and Ted, them they were straight from uh from strong from the hood. I didn't even know they was one street over. But it's in their garages. I mm. remember uh, too crucial, too crucial out of Doug. Uh, big boy, them used to dance. Then uh, you had the Omega Heartbreakers. Mm. They, they, they wore the jackets. And then we were the Stray Cat Preps. We wore the high right, low left, blonde, with the uh, polo, with the saggy pants, with the Esprit badge, with the tennis racket in it. Mm. We were real We'd run out of Linux with stacks of polo out the polo shop. And way back then. Way back then. Run straight up out of there. I didn't actually run out of there. Yeah, but you said I, the crew, I, I, yeah, I, you, you doing yeah, what you were doing. I'm, I'm fourth grade. So they got me stealing juices out of the little thing at Sith Flat. You but stealing shit out of the motherfucker? You know what I'm saying? Because I, I, I had them came from the project to the suburb. Yeah, you know, you doing, we going to do it. One thing about it, if you're from the project, you go to the suburb. Yeah, and project still in. You're you going to do all the project yeah. shit. You're going to turn all the suburb kids yeah, out. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and that basically what it was. I'm fourth grade. We started hanging out at Sith Flat. Sith Flat had a club, Graffitis. Mm -hmm. And Graffitis, they had a dance, it was a dance club. So all everybody used to go to graffiti, everybody had C Flags, so the whole city had C Flags every Saturday. Mm -hmm. And uh that just developed a culture. Uh then the prep thing went away. 
I started getting in middle school, and that crack started getting really, really bad, and everybody went sold. And at this era, Negroes blew blowing out their hair, put on silk shirts, joy ass, and felines. Mm. And, and so I'm like, still sixth grade, LL Cool J out, I need love. So, uh, Mm -hmm. So I'm falling into this area, you know, area, so I'm dancing now. I done caught up with the Stray Cats from the uh, from the talent show. Well, I didn't know who they were. I done caught up with them at Sid Flats and started hanging with Martin Luther King. So now I'm hanging with uh, Stray Cats, which I end up over on 3775 Martin Luther King mm. uh, over there. Over there, my first time being in a trap. And so uh, Slack and uh, all Straight cat, bro. They like, oh, little buddy, cool as hell. Little buddy, cool as hell. And, uh, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? They took me in. So I was like one of the little water boys around town. And so, you know what I'm saying? I started looking out, like looking out for cars and stuff. And, you know what I'm saying? Eventually, I had the bomb in my hand. And blew the hit too. <laughs> hey, so, <laughs> not that big, that you said. Hey, so we were going for King Ridge. I'd be on Martin Luther King. And so, the more my partner who I used to dance with was on Washington Road. So, I'm going to all the traps. And uh, I started messing with some cats in the Cal County. And we, we kind of got on some more stuff. You know what I'm saying? So, now I'm about 14, 15. I don't know. They don't want to see y'all. You know what I'm saying? They don't want to see me at all. And if they see me, man. So, you know what I'm saying? I went through that bout. And you know what I'm saying? That was crazy part of my life and that was when I thought like, man, you not you might not, you know, make it. Like all this stuff going on. You was out here wilding. Wild. Super wild. From wild. east from yeah. the from the south from the southwest to the west to the east. I went, I said I went to the east side with it. That was I might I'm, out there, I'm out there putting that thing in their face. And now that, man. especially back then, they ain't nothing like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like this southwest west shit is yeah. way different. Yeah, run out king, all that. Then I'll make a couple mistakes, you know what I'm saying? I might bring them, slide them somewhere. I might have some problems with, you know what I'm saying, which I, I had suffer repercussions for. And, uh, man, it got so wild. I woke up one morning, and my dude, shout out to Munt, he the one named me, shouty. And uh, we ride around the Cato in this brown Cadillac. And, uh, we... Put the mic a little, up a little bit. We so, uh, we so, so we so... So I'm 15 years old, running with all these older cats in the cater, brown Cadillac, reverse eights and bowls, or whichever rim we wanted, you know what I'm saying? So they were getting them niggas were getting it. Yeah, we were pillin' them, you know what I'm saying, and putting it in their face and and, 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 and and not paying back. You know what I'm saying? That was the whole game. You know what I'm saying? It was it was all it was all for the plus. And uh Man, they don't even hear what you just said, bro. This shit just went over their head so fast. Yeah, people who know, understand. People yeah, who know, I'm with you though. I'm just, I'm just telling you that because yeah. this shit, hey, you know, man, she was all for the plus. I ain't trying to get no Rico free bands. <laughs> exactly, you know what I'm saying? Let's get it. So, um, so it was all for. The <laughs> hey, we gonna talk about that. What are you talking you about? You know, it, it was all for the plus, and um, man, uh, unfortunately, man, you know, everything don't go all the way we're supposed to go all the time. And so my crew, which was much older than me, uh, my crew was much older than me. They wake up, we wake up one Easter morning. I remember Blue called me. He said, man, shouted. Your folks on the front of the paper, man, most wanted section. They on the Easter edition of most wanted section. Two, my, two, my two partner, Munt, Munt and Wayne. Off that uh Hooper Street. So, you know what I'm saying? Everything froze up. So we went one way. They caught Wayne the next day. The next morning apartment we was in over in Sun Valley. Future squad kicked the door in. And my partner Mike, he, 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 he you know, as far as game wise, as far as things, he taught me a lot. I'm gonna tell you what happened. Mike was so cold with it. Boom! Future squad opened the door. Munt open the door. Boom, they take the picture. Hey, you know him? It's Munt. He said, yeah, that's Munt. He left a couple of days ago. He said, y'all sure he ain't in here? Munt say, 
No, ain't nobody in here. They said, we need to look around. Went straight to the dirty closet. Boom, nobody's in here. Nobody in here. They peep in the dirty closet. They were searching all over the house. All right, y'all. Let's go. Mm, we we right behind them. So at that point, you know, we know that Wayne done most, you know what I'm saying, tilt them off where we was at. So I was, put, I was getting kind of nervous, you know what I'm saying? And, 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 and one night, we was riding, and I saw a whole bunch of cow kind of police up on 2nd Avenue. And I had just turned 17. I went 17 three weeks, probably. And I'm driving, and I pull in the yard. Then, but like, I ain't got a bad feeling. So we had another house up the street on Swayze. So we pulled up down. We pulled up down. Mike got out the driver's side. He was like, go open the door. I had my, my tool, I had my, my, my bomb, big bomb, put up on my thing. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got the world though. I'm the first 17. They up here on the corner, right here. And man, by the time I got to that door, they just, whew, freeze, you piece of shit. Get your fucking hands up. Hands. Throw my hands up. Peace fall from up under my arm. They take my hat. They take my hat. I had a big old Indiana Jones looking hat. They took it out, put it on the car, reached in my pocket, pull out the bomb. They pulled the same picture out. You know these guys? Mm -mm. I don't know them guys. Okay. I'm a little boy. I tell them I'm 16. They take me to Atlanta Juvenile. I'm in Atlanta Juvenile shit. Watching out. My mama know the play. They gonna call her. She gonna come get me. Man. That thing know the Cal County Police upstairs in Capitol Avenue Juvenile. Coming to get me. I'm why I got soap on me and everything. They put your clothes back on. They snatched me downstairs. They hit speakerphone. My baby brother on there giving them everything they want. Damn. Now, he's seven years old. Oh, oh, yeah. He's seven years old. So they take me to the Cal County. On the way to the Cal County, car ran out of gas. Police car. I think they finna kill me because I already know. They don't know. I know what I know. Yeah. You know, and these guys wanted for some serious stuff. And uh, <clears throat> Jesus, I got, I went, they, they put me in, you know what I'm saying, VGCSA, um, you know what I'm saying? And uh, my bond was paid. They got me out fast. But I, I, I know they probably, I, 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 wasn't, I, I wasn't gonna say anything. They know I wasn't saying anything. I wouldn't incriminate myself. I would've said anything. They ain't, I, I wasn't even on the radar. And I just walked out of that jail, man. When I walked out of the jail, they got me out. But when I walked out of that jail, man, I just walked out. I just walked. I just walked down Moore Drive. Then I just got on the bus and I told them I had just got out of jail. And I just caught the bus on in the town, man. Came on back to the west side. Went to my mom's house. Made my little broom up. And started, you know, had to turn a new leaf. And so. I'm just sitting at the house over on KK and there's a country squad. I ain't, I ain't trying to get out there now. I got a lot of people, you know, my face ain't good. Face ain't good at all. You what know you what doing before you left? Yeah, for what I was doing, what we was <laughs> Face wasn't good that, like that, you know what I'm saying? It was good, they were gonna stay up off me. And I just chill, man, and, you know, start recollecting. And uh, I, had to, I had to go to court. So when I go to court, they talking about a program which I would like to bring back. And I uh I fight now. I fight for young men. I fight for these boys out here. Cause like I'm telling y'all, I was them. I'm all the way out there. And that and that that fueled me today. Thank you, Jesus. He had his hands on me, dog. Sure. Mm. Sure. He had his hands on me. And so they like, man. You going to boot camp. And I think they need to bring boot camp back. These boys don't know how to wake up early in the morning and work hard. Mm -hmm. I wake up to go to the radio station. I had to be to work at 5 o'clock every morning. I had to wake up with it, no matter what type of morning I had. 
to come deliver. I had to come in there and deliver. We reporters. And, you know, and I love it. You know what I'm saying? It fueled my fire. These boys don't know how to get up in the morning, pull their pants up. In, in boot camp, your pants ain't going to be down. They're going to be up. You know what I'm saying? In boot camp, they, they, you know, they, they, it ain't no bro. It ain't no cause. It's sir, yes, sir. As you saying? Not Period. Real. Not and real. Then oh, it, yeah, real quick. And no matter what type of shape you in, after you do all them push-ups, and after you walk on them miles and cut that grass, you're going to be fit. And see, it, it, there's 90 days of reconditioning. But then you got to make them feel like something. You know, not only boot camp, you give them etiquette class. You see where they're educationally. You know what I'm saying? We got a real program going. Cause this is what should have been done instead of slapping me with a felony. We need to do felony boot camp for felonies for youth of offenders. Cause they slapped me with that felony when I was 17 years old. It's, it's a mark and it don't come off. And I'm nobody near that person. You know what I'm saying? And and and, and these tears of joy and these tears of hurt. Cause I know it's a whole lot of brothers out there that suffer. The 94 crime bill. For sure. Yeah, That's exactly where all of it came from. Nah, for real, for real. You know. Facts. And so I'm I'm really different. You know. And I and and, and, and and that stain that they put on you coming through there, they can't be putting on our young men, man. And, 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 and we gotta go grassroots. Like rehabilitation is good and we could try it, but if, if, if we could try to re- rehabilitate brothers, but look, if you can't be re- rehabilitated, you need to go to prison. I'm sorry. If you can't be re- rehabilitated through a two-year, 90-day boot camp, if you fall off, if you don't want it, if you want to go to prison, then that's where you're going to go after that. Facts. Nah, that's facts. Nah, them facts. We need to bring back tough love. Yeah, Get tough, tough love. love. Tough love. I can't do no more push-ups. You better do them. And they put their foot on your back and tell you to do them. You know what I'm saying? I would like to get with Shell Vic to hear Vic to hear boot count for you throw a field. <laughs> Boy, God damn it. Oh shit, yeah, damn it. You know what I'm saying? I got the whole plan. And y'all wanna clean these streets up? Ooh, we gotta make shit, men yeah. out of these boys and make them nah, feel good. Real. You know, teach them etiquette, where to put their forts at. Nigga don't know where to put their forts at. Nigga know they go to Capitol Grill, but they don't know when they meal over where to put their forts at to let the server know to come pick the stuff up. Nah, for real. You know what I'm saying? That's what we gotta implant. I'm sitting there 17 years old with my mama. No lawyer. They said, tell me sending me to boot camp. That's how I ended up being a comedian. What happened? Ha! I wasn't going to boot camp. My partner Mike had not already been to boot camp. Now they headed to prison. He come at the boot camp. When he went to boot camp, he was your side, Pale. When he came out, he was DC Young Fly Side. That boy was skinny. Yeah, don't worry. I ain't saying no, no shit. I was saying, yeah, DC, yeah. DC is a slim yeah, guy. He's a slim. He's, <laughs> real slim. My dog he's a slim. slim. That's my son, man. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Him and Carlo. Well, you know what I'm saying? So, so, you talking about, you know what I'm saying? I'm sitting here, and I don't want to go, I don't want, they talking about, you can get up to t- 12 years or something for the uh, position. And, 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 uh, bleak. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, and you know, then with them combined, that's a whole nother charge. Yeah, yeah. You feel me? The and they saying we can't because this and this was together. We can't offset the felony. But you got the young boy. You know what I'm saying? You no second chance. You man, they, to... nah, but, I, but God gave me a second chance. Go get what? Man, I ain't going to lie, Pile. I ain't going to lie. So, you know, I'm already like this out there in the street. Like, ha! You know what I'm saying? So, I'm just, I just, I had my first girlfriend. Uh, so I went back home, right? So I went back home. Back at home, living, paying, you know what I'm saying? Joy say, Joy say, you're going to be an angel. He said, but you're going to finish school before you go to boot camp with a smile. you go boot camp next summer. This is in October. I'm like, you know boot camp like in the summer? On the spreadway, cutting with a slain blade? I'm like, man, I can't. So... I had to go to uh, probation every day. Diane Lambert, she don't play. You had to stand. When I go in there, it was a world nigga standing up waiting to go to the book. Got to the, 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 the meaning of obedience. I said, oh, no. You got to go look for 10 jobs a day. God damn. Yeah, and come back with a signature. You know what I'm saying? You start there, go look for 10 jobs, and come back and end there. Until you go to boot camp or until you get a job. That, that, that's the program. That was that program, Zell Miller Boot Camp. Shit, so 
You get in the motherfucking program every day in the morning time. Seven in the morning. All right, bye. The hell on. Come on back four, five afternoon time. You better have ten signatures for a job because you tried to get it. And if you don't bring ten back, that means you got a job. If you don't bring ten back, then you get violated and sent to prison for a two year sentence. Dang you go, it, it was shit. boot camp or two years. If you messed up in boot camp, then you're gonna go to prison for two year, eighteen months to two years. That that's how they that's how they had the program structure. So, man, uh uh-uh. uh, uh uh, I'm a little bitty, I'm a little bitty, little bitty, little bitty shouting, and so little bitty shouting. And so, I had a girlfriend who I went back to the house and I had got a girlfriend for sharing showcase. She was so pretty. Find out she was cheating on me with her baby daddy. He was in the, he was in the navy. They never broke up. He just went to the navy. She over there to hold me with my mama. That junk drove me crazy, man. And then how long you with her? I was with her. I was with her a good year. So so I'm turning from seventeen to eighteen. You in love? Yeah, I'm in love. Oh, she red. She thick. Oh man, she had that. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I'm, 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 on bus, I'm on the bus with her. She from the cater. So I'm on the bus. We on the bus. We from we from, ha- uh, from we from High Tower to Avondale. You know what I'm saying? We all uh uh, uh what apartments you know, they look like uh they like don't you should live there now. Uh South uh South Hill, uh, over there off Memorial Drive. Uh they the worst, they always be on the news. But they stayed over she her friends them stayed over there and she was getting around. I ain't know she was getting around. You know what I'm saying? And so she disappeared for four days. And she's staying at the house with us on Cascade. She'll disappear for four days. By this time, I done got me a job at the airport. So I'm at a job at the airport, working right there in front of the security at a little coffee shop. Did my first time around real people. I've been in the trenches yeah. for all these years. And these people are laughing at me. Wow, dog. These people are laughing at me. Oh, I, ain't, I gotta tell y'all about the boot count though. Cause you gotta tell me how you started committing shit. I too. gotta tell you about the boot count. Let me t- that, that 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 tie in. So, between time, meantime, I'm going to get probation. Then so, one day at McDonald's on Martin Luther King, unfortunately, my past caught up with me, and some guys caught me at McDonald's on Martin Luther King, and uh, it got me pretty good. What happened? So, <laughs> you gotta know. So, so I'm in line at McDonald's, right? I got so I've been over there in Country Square hanging out. So I don't start hanging out with some of them little cats, you know. So, hey, where's late? You know what I'm saying? Some little cats. We just be hanging around apartments. I'm just telling them all my war stories and stuff. I don't turn back into a regular 17 year old. And we had, uh, we don't go to McDonald's one night. Uh, and so I'm sitting there ordering, and two dudes, who I had conflict with, uh, pulled, walked in from Delma. But I used to be on Delma. <laughs> Woo! That was so, so, uh, so they owe, they really owe us money. But they owe us money, but they didn't pay us soon enough. So one night I took upon myself to go over there and get our money. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, ah, yeah, everybody. It was a lot of confusion. It was a lot of confusion. So then I'm like, oh, just fellas I need to see. So they're like, oh, so they real stiff with it. So I step back. I order and step back. Man, I go to the car, parlay. When I reached in the car, man, I woke up in my backyard and tell my man what hell. Damn. <laughs> All the way on KK. Yeah, they caught me pretty good. You know what I'm saying? Fucked me all up. But that's that, but see that's the best play for me. Yeah. Cause I ran straight up in probation the next day. Had my shirt buttoned up wrong. I had them draw on my shoes. Who made you draw your shoes? Call, call. Oh, oh, see, why, why the man the girl broke up? So I was tricking myself. So I go downtown and ask for cigarettes and stuff. Cause I kind of kind of throw me off a little bit. You know what I'm saying? My first little girlfriend. You know how that first heartbreak is. So I was playing. I was, I was entertaining myself. You playing crazy? Yeah, playing crazy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So. I said, man, I'm finna take this to the probation. I had my little polo on, and I drew on my little OP shoes and cut the toe out. And um, I uh, I had my I had my, I had my tennis racket in my um bag, like for the prep thing. And uh, I walked in, I was beat up, and I was like, she like, eh, eh, and I was standing there like, and she like, everything okay? And I was like, no, I'm gonna go play t- uh play golf in Peachtree City. I got my golf cart parked at High Tower. 
I'm going to go peace be seated when I leave here and play golf. And then she went on questioning everybody. She got me in the room. When she got me in the room, I said, you got to send me to boot camp now. I said, they're going to get me. I said, they're going to get me. I said, they're going to kill me. Oh, oh, I, said, Mama, I said, Mama, you can't send me to my heart. You got to send me to bar. I said, you can't send me to my What she said? She said, have you ever had a mental evaluation? So when I was on juvenile probation yeah. in DeKalb County, they had sent me to Charter Peachford. What the hell is that? It's like a little hospital where you go. Cause she get thought, evaluated. Yeah, she said, they don't send me to get evaluated. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I already knew that. So I said, yeah. I gave her that information. She told me to wait. She called me back in a week later. She had paperwork. She said, report to Rainbow. Rainbow was regular probation over by the South Dakota Mall. Mm -hmm. Rainbow Drive. Yeah. And I uh and when they put me on that five year probation, I mean I, I did the rest of my five year probation on regular probation. I never seen boot camp. And when they took that boot camp away from me, I took all that uh, out of my life. I said, I'm not God, you gave me a chance. I had grew up in the church too, also. Me and CeeLo sang in the choir right here in East Point. So no, 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 no. <coughs> <laughs> you can't say that shit just say it like that and you say, okay, my kid. No, y'all sung you and CeeLo sung in the choir. So me and CeeLo sung in the choir. Okay, so you ain't heard CeeLo rumors. About when he was young, around oh, CeeLo was a gangster. Yeah, yeah. So, so yeah. CeeLo used to hang in wild two, and wild. Let me tell you this. I know two niggas who, who, who I know two niggas. CeeLo took one of the niggas starter jacket, and CeeLo took a nigga joints. And, okay. So, joints had to be at the skating ring. But, let me see. I know I know about the jacket at Bunch. They, they tried to come rob, uh, <laughs> they tried to come rob CeeLo and take the jacket at Bunch. He went to Bunch for a minute. Um, I remember he was like, I'm going to Bunch. Cause I went to Bunch for two weeks and I transferred to Emmy. I, I say, I'm, I'm, I'm taking my, I'm going white folk. But, so he was out there and they, and they tried to jump on me and take the uh, troop jacket. It was a troop jacket. And they, 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 they got him, but he didn't let that jacket go. He let the jacket go. Then he went to, uh, he, he, he transferred and went to uh, over there on the other side of Oakland City, whatever school that was. And he, he mooned the principal on the uh, school bus. So they had him in BD class, behavior disorder. And, and so uh, Carlos was bad as hell. He was bad. We was all bad. We was bad. We was bad. And we was church. We was at the church bad. Oh, so y'all bad in church. So how did he, how did both of y'all end up singing in the choir? Okay. So I'm gonna tell you. So when I was um, my mom, I, it was one Christmas night, man. Jesus. Uh, I, my son, my my. I had to be eight years old, and my little brother was a baby, and my mom, my grandma stayed in Central. My grandma stayed in Central. So we went over there to get our gifts. Mm -hmm. And we went to get our gifts from my grandmama. And so we was getting ready to come back home. It was Christmas Eve night. And I remember I got, I was in the car with my mama. And then my grandmama then came downstairs. So my sister got in the car with my grandmama. When my sister got in the car with my grandmama, I'm like, oh, I'm going to ride with my grandmama. And so I got in the car with my grandmama. And we rode ahead. And we came straight down uh, Faber and to Ben Hill. I stayed, on, I stayed out Butner then. Then we sit in the yard and I fell asleep. Man, I woke up. We at Southwest Hospital. They they bring my mama in on the stretchers, dog. <clears throat> Jesus, a face cut up, everything. They say that they had showed up, so they turned around and they got you know what the public said with Chip Flay at right there. Mm -hmm. You know that curve right there. Mm -hmm. It used to be it used to be a little building right there, and it was telegram pole. And they hit it in one of them little bit of Toyota, 82 Toyota. And they said my mama was going to never walk no more. And um, it was a lady at my mom's job, mm -hmm. went, came and started ministering. Every day just coming, sitting by her bed, praying, praying for her, praying for her. All the glass started coming out my mom's face. And, you know, she started just coming back around. And then she got up and started walking. And, you know, and so when that happened, my mom ended up out the hospital, so it was a whole new awakening. And when she came home, we went to church. And my sister was 16, and she's a bona fide, saved Christian, no television. She live in Arizona, uh, master degrees, eight kids with a white guy. They live totally under the realm of God from that accident. And I met, that's when they took right here to Fellowship of Faith. I met uh, Carlos, 
CeeLo. CeeLo. CeeLo Green. Uh, Big Zach. Big Zach. Big Zach. Kwanzaa. And uh, Tower Brother O'Royal. I don't know who that and, is. Yeah, Kwanzaa. But you know Zach and CeeLo. Yeah. I know and, who Kwanzaa is, too. Though. You know Kwanzaa, yeah. And so, and, and Juicy. You know, Juicy, Harold Juicy had a barbershop on Martin Luther King. Uh, right there, uh, Right there, where restaurant, the soul food restaurant, where Social Security was, they had a rest, they had a barbershop right there, and we was little boys, and we was bad. And now y'all yeah. gonna make y'all sing in the goddamn choir. And they had us in the choir. We used to go to choir rehearsal every Tuesday night, and 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 I just sit there, and I and I you know I still thought I was a little pro, so I still I still thought I was cool because I was over here and being you know, and one day they gave me a lead and they called me and CeeLo, they like we got a rap, it was called Give Me a J. They're like, give me your J, J. You got your J, you got your J. Give me your and and, and, and man, it turned it turned it turned the church out. And every time, anytime. Jesus, huh? Jesus, 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 Jesus Christ is the light of the world. He reaches out to every man, Y'all woman, dancing. boy, and girl. And if you don't believe, I've been redeemed. Come on and check us out on the Holy Ghost scene. Say, sanctified, Holy Ghost filled by my side. Is Jesus on my side or born again? And we was like, oh, oh, born again. Oh, who, who straight lit with it? Who, wrote, who made it up? One, the church director. I mean, the, the the ladies who ran the kids' choir. We had a very, very, they very. Were uh, they were rappers. Yeah, they. I mean, we had we had man. I'm gonna tell you something, man. The foundation that they built at that church never left me. I go to church every Sunday. My pastor is my uh, mentor. Shout out to C. H. Brady. My pastor is the pastor who married Jock and Kendra on Love and Hip Hop, and doing all the counseling on Love and Hip Hop. I linked them together with that, and um, okay. Real. yeah, and we 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 sow and grow. We do great things in Clayton County as far as, um, you know, dealing with the kids and dealing with the school system and, uh, you know, just the zoning. My sister, Alika Anderson, she's a, um, she's a District 1 commissioner over there. And, uh, man, it's our, she, she's also part of, she was the vice uh, chair to the Board of Education before she was the district. So I, I have aligned myself with. All Some the good people. ties of people who yes. really what the focus is. Yes. All y'all focus is the same yeah. thing. It's yeah. easy to move like that. Yes, very, 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 very. And and, 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 and you have to live with a purpose. You know what I'm saying? You, better. you have to live with a purpose. And so, well, I was at with the, uh, with, oh, so. No, you so, just talking about so y'all saying the church. Count, yeah, but so, so. Yo, okay, back, boom, that's how back, y'all back. met. That's yeah, how y'all church. That's okay, how me and CeeLo met. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And so, uh, and so I was the first one brought CeeLo to Ben Hill. I was the first one brought him from church to Ben Hill. And I remember when I brought him uh and brought him to Ben Hill, then he started going to Southwest. But back so now, uh, so now I'm on regular probation. You know what I'm saying? So they got you on five year probation now. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I and I don't and I don't finish school. You know what I'm saying? So woo, thank you, Jesus. So I'm back in line and uh I meet this girl at Sharon Showcase. Beautiful. And uh so you back at Sharon Show again. It's another girl. The Not the same girl. The same girl. Okay, same girl. Right. So she brought me. She was, oh my God. I and my mama worked overnight. What her name was? Nidra. You ever, have you ever seen her since then? Um some somebody came to me. Somebody came to me about six months ago and say, My friend say uh she used to date you. We be listening to you on the radio. Say they say she work at the airport. Ironically. She worked at the airport. Yes. Same way you say what you same place you flew out when I was at work to go see her baby daddy. And I, I ain't no telling her baby so, daddy. So hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah. I, forgot, I forgot about this. Hold yeah. on, I forgot about yeah. it. Hold on, <laughs> we finna we finna hold that shit oh. back. Hold on one time. <laughs> so you were at the fucking airport. You don't got a job at the fucking airport. In the yeah. meantime, you fucking the airport. She staying with you and your mama on Cascade. She fucking go missing for four motherfucking days. Man, between you, you at work, and then what happened? You should see her ass walking through the airport. No, no. So Man, she, I ain't I ain't no had no girlfriend, so I don't know. Ain't no cell phones, so she go missing. I be had to catch bus out with Brandon Hill. That's the name of the apartment, Brandon Hill over there. Uh, looking for a man. I, I was cold. I, I was sent with it, man, with that one. And uh, she on she on, she, she on, man, she on. Man. How far is ride? How far ride is it? For for how time? You know, all right. So one sixty five, one sixty five start at Country Square. And they got to go all the way to Grand Canyon. Oh, 
<laughs> oh shit, that, bro. That forty minutes right there. Right there by itself. Then, 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 then got all the way to King. Then what? What? It, what it, Kingston, Kingston Station. Kingston Station. Then gotta go. Cause Indian Creek, the last one. Yeah. So, yeah. Trace. So it's Kingston. Yup. Yeah, and yeah. then go to and, only, and Kingston might not have been there then. It might have yeah. been Avondale. I'm almost sure it was Avondale. That was might the last been stop. Avondale. Avondale was the last stop. Yeah. Yeah. And so, uh, it, it, Damn, Avondale was the last stop. Avondale was the last Jeez. stop. Hey. <laughs> you was looking. Hey. So, so, uh, that, so when she, so we went through a bad relationship. Bad. And it, it, it was toxic. It was really toxic. Um, I got burnt. She got some burns pulled on her. Um, it was crazy. I was, cause I was, I was still a wild child. Mm-hmm. I was still a really wild child, and I just thought I went, I, I wasn't trapping, and I wasn't taking, but I was carrying mm-hmm. because I, I, I'm all right. I gotta go through this long ride. I gotta ride, ride, I gotta ride past Delmar on the bus. I remember one time I was on the bus and, and Central, cause they were breaking my mama antenna. And shout out to all the boys I grew up with in Central, man. And it's so funny. They caught me in Central too, at my grandmama's house. At, How old you were? I was seventeen. So did he say nigga that you been? So these these some old niggas. These the Central niggas. Yeah, the Central niggas. So if you, I'm asking you this. Yeah. So if you know you into it with these Central niggas, why the fuck is you going to Central? I went into it. Let me tell you what happened. And I'm gonna set the record straight by the Central store for y'all to know exactly what happened. Okay. So it was a dude over there named Rico. Mm-hmm. It stayed in Fairburn Townhouses. Mm-hmm. Right across the street. Yeah, right across the street. Right through the fence. Right yeah. there. Yeah. So Rico. Had ran off. You know what I'm saying? He ran off. And so I used to ride through Central and ride through there yeah, looking for him. You know what I'm saying? Cause he'd be out there trapping. So I'm riding through, and my grandma would stay up here in J12. They know my grandma was flower lady. They know it's me. So I'm just like, y'all ain't seen Rico? And like, nah. So I'm like, y'all ain't seen Rico? They're like, nah. So one night, I think I got the drop on Rico. So we up at the top of the J building. I'm talking about we ready. And they down in the building right here. And we coming in and they see us. And when they see us, they know it's me. And it wasn't deal, it wasn't them, but they feel like we were trying to get them. Yo. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, it felt like we were trying to get him. With, with the uh, short man syndrome, short man complex. Yeah, yeah, I had that a lot. That's, that was, yeah. And so they, th- they thought we were trying to get him. Okay, so I leave. So I'm gonna ride back through there. I done got out the game. Judge say go back to school. Yeah, so now, now this is now, now you don't care. Now, <laughs> so you like that shit older here. Yeah, ain't tripping on that shit. I'm gonna go see grandma. Oh, oh, did 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 first. Did did did. So I got so judge say you got to graduate from school. So I go to Harper. I use my grandma's address to go to Harper. Not even thinking about this shit. Yeah, I ain't at Harper two hours. I go in there fresh with my blue jean suit. As soon as I get to Harper, you know I was pretty little boy. You know what I'm saying? They like, you the new boy? I'm like, yeah. They say it's two boys walking around looking for you, talking about you brought they people and they finna they say they finna get you. So I'm like, what? So I'm like, oh hell no. So I'm walking, if they know, I see Aunt them, I see them coming. I'm like, oh, they ain't even, they ain't even, you know what I'm saying? They they just represent for the central. You know what, mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So they come, they come, they we tussling in the hall, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't no nothing real serious, ain't no no nothing like that. So, uh, you know what I'm saying? That what that was. You know what I'm saying? And then we end up in the principal office, and I'm fresh out on bond. I got all this court stuff on me. They know it. And these D jokers finna graduate. So they done push their stuff off, and I'm labeled a troublemaker already. So that didn't work up that hard. <laughs> well, you were going through it, dog. I was going through it, and then they ain't know what they were. They don't know, man. They had to come out hard every day, so I just chilled on that, man. But then, so... So now it's in the air that they done got me at, it's in the air that they done got me at Harper. Mm-hmm. So now I, I got the girlfriend and I'm downstairs. So I'm up there with my mama. I went over to my grandma's house with my mama. Mm-hmm. We in the house. Me and my girlfriend fussing. So I'm down here at the phone booth on the phone with her fussing. And I just remember, hey man, you remember me? And I'm like, hell no. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, he ain't had time to react, no. Nah, I, I, I ain't even see it. I ain't even see it. And so when I'm lowering everybody, they know who it is. They, know, they already know. They're like, shout man, we're we going to tell you one day who it was, shout <laughs> Damn, man. Yeah, it's man. Crazy, it's crazy. It's crazy. Yeah, crazy right now. Nah, but, hey, young man. fellas, I'm telling you, man, you reap what you sow. Even when you think you done got out of the game, it'll come back to hunt you. So, you know what I'm saying? That's why I, I, I try to write all my wrongs. And this, no, we talking about years ago. This before I even started being a comedian. This is lead. So then, you know what I'm saying? How, you, how the hell you get led up to doing comedian shit? How? Was you always joining and shit like that? So then, no, I was serious. I was dancing, though. I used to dance. But I was straight cat, so I will perform. So definitely see that back then, gangsters dance then. Yeah, yeah, gangsters dance. You know what I'm saying? So I danced. And then, so, and so that's how I was a performer. You know what I'm saying? And then my mama told me when I was five, I was like, mama, she's like, I was like, that's about talent about Michael Jackson. She was like, God gave everybody a talent. And it's up to whoever that person is to pull the talent out of them. So since I've been five, I've been had a glove on my hand. I've been had a skateboard under my feet. I've been trying to pull my talent out because I knew I wasn't ready. What was the incident? <laughs> what, what was the incident that made you uh, find comedy and pull that shit out? I was sitting there. Me and Nidra had them broke up. Uh, I uh, I was working at the airport, and I was tired one Friday night, and I'm sitting there in the den on Cascade, and Def come to jail, come on TV. And I've been telling everybody about the story of what happened with Nidra when she came home from out of town. That was my first comedy act. Mm. It was crazy. But... I watched the upcoming jam, and I was like, this is what I'd be doing in the car porch. Because I had to reduce myself to working at the airport and smoking in the car porch on KK. You know what I'm saying? Just chilling. You know what I'm saying? I had done trying, I was trying to normalize, you know, I, I, the church thing was in me. You know what I'm saying? I knew I wasn't raised like that. I knew I didn't want to go to prison. That was the main thing. I knew I didn't want to go to prison. Hey, boy, nigga, for, hey, but nigga, hey, don't do that. But nigga, do everything stay away from that hey, shit. I knew I nope. didn't want to go to prison. Yeah, no, nah, nope, I ain't fucking with it. And, and I was so close. And, and and when I look back at it, back at it and having knowledge, man, I was on the road. I was on, they got they got a thing called Pathway to Prison, and I was on it, and didn't even know it. I was right there at the door, and you end up escaping that shit. Jesus, thank you, Lord. Mm. That's where my humbleness come from. So boom, you see, you got down. Um, so you see this shit on TV. So I see Dale coming jam on TV. Do you remember the comedian who was on there? Yeah, it was Bruce Bruce, mm -hmm. Artero Shelton, Chris Tucker. And I'm, I'm like, that's, that's, that's my lane. I'm like, I, it was no doubt. That's, I said, that's what I be doing in the car porch. That's my lane. And so I started walking around lying, saying I was a comedian. So I'm walking around country square, everywhere, everywhere. I'm telling everybody I'm a comedian uh, because one day they was laying out a driveway and I'm like, they're flexing for my mama because I done reduced my life. I'm like, y'all need some help? And they're like, yeah, we do need some help. They say, be ready at 5 30 in the morning. I said, I'll be ready. I'm standing out there in the yard, ready. 5 30 in the morning. I jump in the truck with these guys. They take me somewhere, man. They done cut all the trees down. They brick masons. And I'm um, they labor. A hundred pounds. Soaking wet. Oh my God. It wasn't no trees. It wasn't no shade. Oh, and a, what a labor for a brick mason does is go get the mud and the bricks. And they sit there and slap it. So they talking about, so I'm, 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 I'm hustling, I'm like, hell yeah. I'm talking about, it's about $30 an hour. I'm telling you, you get paid. I'm you, like, you with this I'm shit. with it. But I'm, I'm, I'm carrying bricks and mud, though. So as the day go, as the morning go on, they voice, they, more mud. I'm like, I got you. More mud. I'm like, I got you. More mud. I'm like, I got you. They're like, more mud. I'm like, oh, he's not like, Slow as hell. More, more, yeah. To like, it was it was exhausting. Uh, oh my god, it's one of the hardest jobs. It's it's so hard. It's so oh my god, it was so hard. Probably, and and I I, I want to make my mama proud, man, cause I had been out there. I had them came back home. You know what I'm saying? And I I, I was trying to right my wrongs, man. Cause I broke a heart, you know, and so. I went, I made it home. I slept the whole time. She woke me up. They out there again. I'm like, oh. Man, I went. Parlay. 
I went. You ain't want to go. I, I can I see it right now that Joe had didn't want to go then. Man, I went, man. I think I made it by three hours. I ended up sleeping the rest of the day up on the finished uh, house. They had them finished one of the houses. They had a little, uh, a, a little deck. I, I, I went over and went to sleep. And my check was still $280 for just that day and a half. I, I wish I could have kept that job. But, um, so, that, so, I had that story. So, I was telling everybody that story. Everywhere I go, I was like, more, more, more bricks. And then, CeeLo used to call himself Grandmaster C, and he used to beatbox. So he taught me how to beatbox. Mm. And so uh, Barney, Barney was real hot back then. This is 94. So I used to always be scratching like, I love you. And so I made a joke about uh, Barney being in the hood, talking about ghetto cable connection. And I did the scratching Barney song. So I had done studied a little bit. So I used to do that in front of people, and I did the more mud. And then I did the story about the last night when me and Nidra was together after she came from, uh, after she came. For, for, so I'm looking for her. For, yeah. for four days, I'm looking for her. Yeah. Now I done called the police and everything. Mm-hmm. I'm like, but my girl. And she called me, and she worked at Krispy Kreme on, on, on Memorial Drive right out there. So she said, I'm at work. So I got on the bus, got out there. So we get on the bus. So all the way on the bus, all the way on the bus, come back, I'm looking. I'm looking all over, I'm like, man. Man. I'm looking. I'm trying to see Patch Mars anything. So I don't see nothing. So I, I, she, she wasn't asking her no questions. She just right. She was just back. She was older than me. Mm-hmm. So she, and so we got in the house, and so she said she been getting back to her. So when she went in the bathtub, I went in her purse. I sure did. I went in her purse. What'd you find, dog? I found an R. Kelly tape, the remix, I don't see nothing wrong with a little bump and grind in a bag. I look at the receipt on the bag. The date was 3-5-94. It said Virginia Beach, Virginia. I knew dude was in the Navy. Mm-hmm. Hit, hit you right then. All the time when I got burnt. All the disappearances. Everything was just flashing. And people so, people so, the world's so crazy these days. I can't tell y'all the story like I want to tell y'all. <laughs> nah, people for so real, judgmental. For real. Yeah, nah, for real, for real. You know, but it went down. It went down, and <clears throat> that was my, that was, and if I had just burnt Andre Rising House down, and so I made, uh, a sketch about pimp killers. So and, it's okay. So you taking all these things that's going on around you in your life in my life, and you making these bitches skits. What the fuck is driving your mind to do this shit, dog? Because most niggas is trying to come up with jokes. Because I was because I was living it, and I, I still ain't been on stage, and I don't I don't know comedy. Oh, I, well, I grew up religiously. I looked at my mama delirious and raw. Now that might have had a whole lot. I I could tell you. That might have had a whole lot. Had to do a whole lot to do with my psyche. Yes, yeah. a whole lot. So I'm putting these. I'm putting this stuff together, and I don't even know what I'm doing, and I don't even know where. I don't even know where I stage at. I'm 18 years old. So then I remember I was doing so good, man. I got me a little job at the airport. My mom was like, I'm going to go to the credit union and get you a car. Mm. And so my mama went to her credit union and got me uh, and, and got me some money. And so I, I had to go visit this girl over there by Carver Home, right, in Joyland. So I ride past the plaza one day. I see this 98. Oh, that mug was so clean. It had a century was it? Bold. Huh? What kind of car was it? A 98. A, 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 a 86. 98. Short body. It had centers and bowls, everything was clean. I seen it for sale sign. So I was like, man, this is the car I want. So I called a number, and uh, it was a dude named Uli. So Uli was like, rest in peace. And so he was like, I'll get it to you. I got him $3,000 from that credit union. 
Man, I got that car. Ooh, now 18. Clean. Clean. And I work at the airport. Because I had started going to work at the airport for, for, at 4 a.m. You know what I'm saying? Unpacking them things after me and Nidra broke up. You know what I'm saying? I was just going out and people started saying how funny. Then they gave me that whip. Then I'm still going to see Punkin over here in Joyland. I'm riding. I'm in Joyland. I'm riding past departments. I see my partner for country club. Hey, shout out. Fleet run out. He like, man, it's booming over here. It's the Joyland weed trap and they they and they doing it like the mcdonald's drive they doing it like chick-fil-a line now mm-hmm. and so i remember one day fleet was like man i had to pay all my own bills man i ain't i ain't, I ain't man y'all messed up and he couldn't re-up and so i was like man i got my little chick man and when we bought two ounces of weed probably and in a week we was getting about three pounds Back. I'm back. I'm back. This legit money though. Yeah. That's legit money. Yeah. That's legit money. We got it, boy. They don't let me in over there in Joyland. Man, it's some J's down there in Joyland. Got the trap. You know what I'm saying? It's an old lady, me Pokey. She caught police on me. Got me another case. Um, me Pokey is a, is a J. He ain't had no other arms. She ain't had no arm. He to sell the weed with his foot. Put it all up in the arm. Get the money. Everything. Smoke crack with his foot. Everything. And uh. And so we'd be in the girl apartment in the front, and you go down there, you have, you have about 50 bags around you, you ain't gonna be down there for about 20 minutes. You know what I'm saying? They pull up, give me 10 bags so fat. I'm like, man. So I'm like, Jill. And uh, that was a good run. So I gave me some texture. So now we Ryan. I'm Ryan. I got a 98. We got a rental car. Then my boy T on Washington Road, he had done, uh, he had done, did this Cadillac up, candy green Cadillac, put the, White seats in it, the gold and mm. chrome rims and everything. Man, we had met our partner. I'm like, how much you want for it? He flexed to about 7000 I don't been in the trap with these Negroes. Stealing my bone. We out there wilding. I was just full. I was like, man, get it ready. KT the money for the Cadillac. Now I got the, then I got, now I got a 98 and the Cadillac. And, man. I'm ready for the city. Man, we got bank road and and I'm at and so I'm still working at the airport. And all these folks laughing at me because I got a good ass spirit. I'm on high, I'm, I'm over Nidra. You know what I'm saying? I'm hitting by three a day. All the girls I went to school How with. How long it took you to get over Man, we ended up back together. <laughs> oh, ooh, that's a whole thing. How y'all ended up back together, man? Man. So, so. So, How many years was it for y'all end up being back together? By three, by four, by I'm a comedian. So now you about what, 22? Yeah, yeah. How she come in your life? Man, what I see knees red, man. Some way, it was crazy too, because uh, we when I saw, I think they called, I used to be on the radio, Coco Brother, on Hot. I think she called the radio station at Hot. Uh, something bought, but uh, I bought in, I bought into her, and she called. So she found your ass. Yeah, she found me, and uh, I automatically went and got her, and she had a boyfriend, and I knew him, and he from uh, he from over there, in, uh, Oakland. I ain't even gonna say his name. What's up, man? We, we <laughs> I, I, I feel we partners. You know what yeah, I'm saying? we went through, we went through a thing, mm-hmm. we went through a thing, and uh, so I used to go pick up. I need you. Yeah, about need you. Yeah, cause I was gonna pick up every day. I hadn't got me, I hadn't got my first apartment. In Utah Springs, right there. I know okay, exactly right there. About. I had a party of Cadillac by the window. I let all the rest in peace, Tyler Craig, my partner, comedian, uh, in Dirty South. We was like Shout the Rat Tyler, Pack. Man, for real. We was the G Tyler. crew. And so we, we was kicking. And we used to be in my apartment. And then I had my partner from Joyland, Lil Dave over there. Uh, and, and, and Nidra. She used to come over there. And she worked at, on John Burr Road at that trucking company across the street from John Burr South. So... I wake, I, I I take her in the morning to work, and we might go by her mama's house to get some clothes or something, and she was kind of dodging her dude. Then one morning, we got up before we take her to work, before the dog, and I'm taking her mama's house. We pull up her mama like, that boy been out here all night. He's sitting out in the house. You know what I'm saying? He's sitting down now. And then, so he know me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> then, so she run and locked the burglar gates. So she in the house now, now I'm out here with him. I ain't, I ain't even, you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, man. I'm like, bro, you need to talk to her, man. 
He like, what's up? He like, he trying to talk to her through the burger. He talking about, when were you with him, then you with me? I mean, what's going on? I was like, bro, you need to talk to her, man. I was like, I'm finna pull out. But don't be up there when she get out from work. <clears throat> and I went home. I rolled all the way KK. So you standing on this shit. I rolled all the way KK. You, you stand, you stand, so you standing. <laughs> Niggas is my bitch, basically. That's what yeah, you saying at the end yeah, of the day. Yeah, Fuck all that shit yeah, you talking about. Yeah, my dad shit old with, yeah, dog. I'm back. Yeah, she back, I'm back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was like that. Yeah, cause, uh, yeah. He was he there the next day when you pick up? <laughs> I was thinking your shit. So how long it was before you start fucking with her? What we got to shoot out that day? That same day. Well, th that day. So yeah. you got to shoot him by some pussy. No, he was following me. Okay, so I pull in and pick up. So y'all got to shoot him by some pussy. Oh, so what you, about the more? What it was about? It's about he was following me. <laughs> it's about he was following me because look. Okay, so I'm ready. So I pull in. She right there at the gate. She was a security. So I pull into the gate. Then when I pull in, I see everybody like, oh, and they eyes looking crazy. And then I see them looking crazy, right? Then I look up, I see a car come around the corner. So she jumped in the car. So I been one. So I turn left going toward the John Burr South. John Burr uh, South. John Burr North. Who won? Oh, down. John Burr South. Yeah, on, 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 oh, that by Ford High School. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm going toward John Burr South. Next thing you know, you know that street, the next street. So I bust that left. I know the area because my cousin, uh, uh, I stay, stay on Burroughs Drive over there behind South, behind Ford. So I know the whole area from a kid. So I come, so I come and he'll do like this and then dead end to like where the trucking company at. So as soon as I come over the hill, I know what it is. I don't got enough on him. So when I get to the end of the street, I slide sideways. So when he come over the hill, I'm sleeping right there waiting on him. So I just put something on him so he can come slow up off me. And then he kind of just got slow. He just kind of did, he kind of got real small, and, and and I went on to the house. So I go to five five nine to tell jokes the next night. So I left everybody at the house, big mall at the house, little day, everybody at the house. So I, I get five five nine. I'm in my mama car. That thing, you know, dude. So I get off stage, give my money from Bruce. So I pull, so I, yeah, I'm walking to the car. I see a car right here. That look over. I see his car. So I got in the car. You know what I'm saying? I got ready. I was back then all the way up there to talk, like, but from right, right on the end, all the way back there on the end, go to the bank, but still in 559 parking lot. So I pull out and come down the street. And I see both the car come behind me with the lights off. So. I see him come behind me, so I know that his cousin, his cousin security. So I see his cousin, so I'm going like I'm finna get on the highway, but then I, I, I turn into Exxon real quick, you know what I'm saying? Whip around the Exxon, his cousin keep on going. He turn around the Exxon behind me, so I turn back around, I hit uh, 20. So I'm hitting 20. He, he come behind you? He, he come behind me on 20. So I'm like this, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know what I'm saying? I'm crying. That thing you know. I, so I call my folks on uh, by, the, by the cemetery on Martin Luther King. I'm calling them like, man, I'm finna come through. I'm finna come through here, man. If they chasing me in the car, you know what I'm saying? You know what time it is. So I go. So I get off Martin Luther King. I head past the cemetery. Then I bust that first right, that, first, that second left after that the church where Luther Film Atlanta video at. So did the neighbor? I know the neighborhood. You know what I'm saying? So you know that's the dead end. So I, I'm coming. I'm going so fast, man. I don't slid all the way in the full front yard. And the, on the street, I'm dead at the end. When I, when, I, when I get right there, I'm looking, 12 got a J. Two 12s got a J right here jacked up. So I brag up, I jump up. I said, man, something about somebody trying to kill me. He already done shot at me getting on spareway too. You know what I'm saying? So I said, somebody trying to kill me. You played crazy again. Then I, I, I played scared. I said, somebody trying to kill me. It's a 12, like, what's going on? He come out, going, he don't know 12 right there, so I'm standing there with 12. So it's, a, it's another dead end right there, so he turned up the dead end. So he up at the dead end, and I'm down, I'm like, man, that thing, you know, he's slowing up, he coming down. He pull up, he got the police on the phone to me. I'm trying to call y'all. He got my girl kidnapped. I'm like, man. Oh, y'all, they got a movie going on. <laughs> I'm sick of this I'm shit. like, bro. You, you need to do a motherfucking shit on you and Nidra, nigga. Yep. 
The whole oh, comedy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that, that, shit, was, my but... first, that was my first comedy. Act. No, for man, real. But that man. shit was dope. Shit, but the other way, they, they, he went up, he threw the gun, whatever. And I'm going to tell you something, man. Don't fuck with me. I don't want no smoke. I ain't got no beef with nobody. You ain't that person no more, No, nah, no, nah, but listen. But listen. I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell, tell you how a nigga play you out the street and how you got to watch it because a nigga will play you just like I play him. Because it was better for him to be out the street for me than me to keep on battling with him. So, police got, police had us that night. What you talking about? You know what I'm saying? They, they asked him, do you have a firearm? He said, no, they asked me to have a firearm. I said, yes. And you know, you know I'm on probation, remember? I, I just caught the case. Uh, yeah, yeah. I just caught the case. They asked me to have a firearm. I said, yes. I said, I need it. They got it. They smelled it. You know what I'm saying? I, I told him, um, I told him I had been shot at. I told him I just did comedy at 559 and I was on my way home. I told him the, the girl they were talking about is at my house right now. She's in no danger. Uh, we called the house. She had confirmed that she was in no danger. And then they told him, okay, buddy, you can leave. I said, I finna let him leave. What y'all, what y'all, lock me up for the gun? He's like, no, you need to smoke more than we do, shawty. Okay, you got that. Gave me the gun back. Free motherfucking game, man. Hey! Tell everybody where they can follow you at, Shawty. Hey, man, follow me at Shawty the Comedian on all platforms. That way, man. Y'all already know this your boy, Parlay, live from DJ House Studio. And we in the apartment with Parlay. Hey. Meet me in the apartment.